Everybody, welcome back to Resident Evil 3. I am the Blue Street Team, and last we left off, we are in a water treatment plant, I believe. Security manual. Security of the plant. Since this plant is a facility under the disguise of a deserted factory, civilians will sometimes enter. If this should occur, do not hesitate to shoot them. If they choose to surrender, arrest them, then transfer to the laboratory as a new guinea pig. As new guinea pigs, you will be rewarded. Maintenance of the device. This entire plant is controlled by an epidemic prevention system. When contamination is detected in a, the treatment room or decomposed specimen pool, the plant will, lock, auto, will automatically be locked down for isolation. In that case, you must follow the manual to unlock it. If the contamination is over the limit, the whole system will automatically lock down. Then you must remain in the plant and wait for subsequent orders. Those who leave the facility without permission will suffer extreme consequences. Will you take the water sample? I will. Hmm. Experiment related notes. Watch for the portion with no wave when adjusting the data. Another for stage spray. Water pollution alert. Locking of the abolition area passage is now in progress. To maintain safety, the lock will not be released until a manual check has been performed. Ultraviolet laser amp applied to the water. A tiny slot where a plastic card could fit. I have to check the water quality. A water sample seems to be required. Ah, here we go. I hate this part. It sucks. Just a... I know. Checking something.
I know this isn't right, but I'm gonna check anyway. That's close. But it really doesn't matter. Yes. Okay, I didn't take it back, so I don't need to do anything else. Though I did notice that card thing down there, so I'll have to go back to that eventually. Not sure if I did that last time. Might not have done, because I don't think I, I, I knew about it. Maybe I did. I don't know. Shut up. Stop not asking things about. Stop not doing things that you're not doing. What? Shut up. You know what you didn't do. Seared flesh. I do go back and heal. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Answer is no, I don't. Kill that son of a bitch later. Is a system disk. Yes, very good. Yeah. <laughs> 
Nikolai? Good, good. It's going differently than last time. This time I'll get the ending I wanted. Today is my 30th birthday. I was transferred to this facility today. I'm very happy because the work environment is very different from life in university. May 14th. The disposal system has been completed. Using a special gas, it can decompose the cells of the guinea pigs. You have to try this out before beginning practical usage of the system, since it is not 100% stable yet. May 20th. While I was checking the treatment room, the door shut and I was locked inside. I couldn't get out for one hour. I guess even if you have the key card, it's useless when you're inside. June 7th. The guinea pigs we have to discreet have to dispose of are increasing. The system's not working smoothly. The laboratory staff doesn't listen to my opinions, and I am getting extremely frustrated. July 16th. We can't dispose of all of the bodies, and the quality of the liquid medicine is not good enough either. July 29th. Though the function of the system decreases, the number of bodies we have to dispose doesn't. The infection level has increased, and the antibodies we are using is no match for the new mutation of the virus. Some of the workers have already been infected by the disease. I have continued to work, but I always keep a gun with me. I must remember to save one bullet for myself. I want to weep. I don't want to die here. I swear that I'll lose my mind if I imagine how painful the death will be. Well then don't. You gibbering wanker. You and one for you. Wunderbar. I don't know why I like saying that. It's just a fun word. Not a bad amount. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Ah, the key. Plastic card engraved with an ID attached to it. it. Seems to be coated with some kind of special painting. If you say so, Jill, I, 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 I can't verify that. Doing this right. The power for the safety system. Set to standby mode. We push the switch. Power's been supplied to the safety system. Excellent.
I've been disconnected from the access point. Ain't nobody got time for the likes of you. Forget what I use this. Oh, yes, yeah, now I remember. Never mind. I'd say I don't know what they use the system disk for. But that is not true. Oh, shit! Our pollution control device has stopped functioning. Displays an error message. Are you fucking kidding? That is upsetting. Tell you what, I'll be right back. I mean, if acid's what's hurting him, mean, maybe acid rounds will do, actually do uh, significant damage. Forget the knife. I don't need it. You know, maybe I'll cut out the first death. Yeah, that's the ticket. So you'll have no idea what I'm talking about when I come back. You won't know just how embarrassing it was. How I was horribly humiliated. You'll never get to see it. Ha ha ha! Yes, the more I think of it, the more I like that idea. Stars. Festering boils here. Look at him, he's such a mess. It's disgusting. I so prefer this form over the, uh... 
when we got in the remake. Yo. Say stars out ahead. It's like Darth Vader when he was dying. Long screwy sea in St. Louis. I made no mistake, in the remake, the second form was more intimidating? But those are just wild and insane. He still retains his intelligence here. Naked zombies? Naked zombies. Almost didn't see that one in the back. Down we go. <laughs> yes, I will take the rocket launcher. Try something risky. Thank you. 
going to be very risky, in fact. thought I was saving this for Nemesis, didn't you? Didn't you? Horrible radar receiver. I got the radar receiver. Such persistence. Nikolai? Sorry, but there is no escape from here. <laughs> Jill, what happened? <laughs> Carlos, the choppers. I guess this is it then. But I don't want to die in a place like this. This isn't over yet. I'm not giving up, Jill. We still have a chance. No, we don't. I am not going to give up. Jill, that's it. We've got to find a way out of here, now. Warning. Missile attack confirmed. Warning. Missile attack confirmed. Emergency level D. All personnel evacuate immediately. I admit, I have never actually used the rocket launcher on that helicopter before. That was hilarious. He thought he was tough shit, and then kaboom! Death. off What's this incinerator manual I really don't have time to read this right now I don't know if that missile operates on a timer or what but I don't want to mess with it System. In the remake, this thing is called the finger. Check it. Warning. 
There is not enough power to activate the system. It was a lot less cool, I suppose. Seems how you can't move it. Nemesis feeds. Cassidy spewing to yourself. Dumbass, get over here. Deed is done. Or is it? it doesn't give up, does it? It's adorable. I think I evacuated last time, but this time. Like I said, do things differently.
very different indeed. Nah, I figured I'd just sit down here and rest a while. One of the bad endings is an outbreak. Jill! It's over, Carlos. What are you talking about? Don't you hear that? There's a second chopper, and it's here to rescue you. But who is it? Who could possibly be looking for me? It doesn't oh, indeed. matter. We just have to be there when it lands. Barry. It's coming. Yeah. It's the end. That's right. You do it the second way and and uh, either destroy the helicopter or tell Nikolai to go away, and he will. Barry saves you. It seems that the president and the federal council have passed judgment over the civilians of Raccoon City. The president and federal council have ruled that the backless terminate operation is the best course of action for this extreme situation, and have since executed. Based on that fact, Raccoon City has been literally wiped off the map. Current reports have the I wouldn't call it literally wiped off the map. Mark. Our hearts go out to those poor civilians of Raccoon City. I mean, that would require, like, retroactive time travel. Alright, let's get this. Doesn't seem to be an option. Ugh, uh, let's just pause it here, then. I do deserve an E. Log number seven. Woman looks at herself in the mirror. She used to be called Ada Wong, but this morning she will say goodbye to that name. I'm not Ada Wong anymore. She, she feels her abs and thinks, this is Ada's scar, not mine. And as she says goodbye to Ada Wong, she can't stop her tears. However, there isn't much time before her next mission. Oh, that was retconned out of existence, wasn't it? Look at the other ones. I don't, I'm fairly certain I didn't show you the, them the first time. Resident Evil. Oh, 
It's just adding more time to the it's already extensive video, but still. Let's see how many more I got to go. One more! Wow! You have any relatives? The army officer asked her, Kerry Burkman did not respond, for she, ha for she has no immediate relatives. Her father and mother died because of the G-Virus. So this little girl holds herself with her arm and bites her tight lip. She thinks, I'm sure she'll come back. She won't forget about me. She totally forgot about you. He was alone. Claire Redfield couldn't believe Leon's words. Leon continued, you're looking for your brother, right? Just go. Claire knew that Leon and Sherry needed immediate medical attention, but she could not waste any more time. I, I'll be back, I promise, she said as she disappeared into the wilderness alone. Leon Scott Kennedy is confronted with a man who claims to be a U.S. government agent. Leon says, leave Sherry alone, she's innocent. She knows too much, the man replies. He looks at Leon and says, but you have value. This is a good deal, make your choice. Without regret or hesitation, Leon closes his eyes and then sharply responds. Barry Burton looks at his young daughters and says, I'm sorry, but my comrades are waiting for me. He knows that he must repay his teammates for his for giving his betrayal, even if that means leaving his family for now. His wife tries to hide her fear, so she smiles and says, don't worry, we'll be okay. Please forgive me, Claire. Chris Redfield had just finished this letter with his signature phrase. <laughs> his signature phrase is, please forgive me, Claire. <laughs> As he removes his sunglasses, a lady walks by with light steps. He looks about Claire, the same age as Claire, he thinks. A short time later, Chris discovered that his sister was looking for him, but was caught. After escaping the city, Jill set out to join Chris Redfield. Ever all she found was an empty hideout of Chris's. On the floor was Chris's knife. Jill had left without hesitation because she firmly believes that Chris was still alive. She will search for him until she finds him. Then they can go put an end to Umbrella. And that's it. So, I am the Blues 32. This has been Resident Evil 3 again. DTFN. That's all for now.